Hey, hey everybody, Jason here, I'm back. And today I wanted to do a quick video and just show you some stuff that I've kind of discovered recently that's really interesting to me. Let's talk a little bit about tires. Now everybody knows that the manufacturers are always kind of in a continuous tire war. And we all know that we pretty much see the same tread patterns more often than not at the track. But something that we really don't notice or don't pay too much attention to is the tire carcass itself. So let's head over to the workbench and let me show you several generations of the exact same tire. And I'll show you how tire carcasses have evolved over the past few years. Let's get going. Okay, traditionally when you talk about tires and uh, evolving, you talk about tread patterns or rubber compounds, stuff like that. But in this case, we're gonna talk about some, like the, the actual carcass, or, and in this specific case, the gluing bead. So AK just released this 2.2 inch chain link. This is the same glue bead that we've always used for years and years on 10 scale buggies and short course trucks. But AK actually invented this bead. Now I didn't have a spare AK tire to show you, so this is actually Proline's version of the Evo bead, and Proline calls this the VTR. And this is basically an eight scale style bead. You can see that they're they're different. They're quite a bit different. Originally, if you ask me my opinion, I would say that Pro, not Proline, but I, I'd say that AK actually introduced the Evo bead, and it really gave them a competitive advantage. It was something new. It was different. It was innovative. And they brought it to the market and it really caught on like fire. And it caught on so well, in fact, that companies like Proline and J Concepts ended up making their own Evo style bead. But as fate would have it, it seems to have faded away quite a bit. And after talking to some of the other tire companies, it sure seems like they're still selling a lot more 2.2 inch bead tires. And of course, being that I believe that's true, now we see AKA releasing their own 2.2 inch tire. And I think there are some good reasons for that. I think that these beads tend to not tear away as bad, and I think that you get a little bit more foam because you're dealing with a smaller diameter wheel. So it just, the foams tend to last a little bit longer and they remain a little bit more consistent and the glue bead just doesn't rip away. But it's still interesting to see that companies are innovating, they're trying new things. Sometimes it works or sometimes it works for a very specific situation and sometimes it doesn't. So I'm glad to see that both of these beads were created. I think it's, I think we've all learned a lot from it, but that's just one example. Now let's move on to eight scale. Okay, here we have three pairs of eight scale tires. Now, these are both AKA impacts. This is a gridiron one on the bottom and a gridiron two on the top. And unfortunately, I couldn't find an older blockade. So this is a new generation blockade. And this is the Proline Big Block, which is a very similar tire to the AKA Enduro. And again, we're not gonna discuss, we're not gonna focus on the tread pattern. We're not even gonna focus on the compound. What we're gonna focus on specifically is the tire carcass. So let's go ahead and start with the AKA impact tires. We'll put these out of the way. Now, this is kind of like the original generation of carcass that we saw in eight scale tires. It was basically just three ribs that ran down the middle of the tire. So we'll call this, I guess let's just call it, we'll call this generation one. Now this seems to be the most advanced generation of tire carcass that we see. And so we'll call this generation three, or I guess the most recent generation. And you'll see that it actually has the ribbed crosshatch pattern. Now, here are two tires that have changed both in the tread and on the carcass. I've used both of these grid irons and I happen to like both of these tires in a whole bunch of different conditions. This medium pin style tire tends to be one of my favorite tires at so many places when I go eight scale racing. Anyways, let's go ahead and start with the the version one, you can see that the carcass is a little bit more rounded, a little bit wider than the actual version two. The version two is a little bit flatter. The pins aren't really, they're not rounded off. So there's a little bit more of an edge that you can catch here on the edge. I know that the camera's not gonna pick it up too well, but believe me, it's there. Where on the version two, they've kind of rounded everything off so it doesn't catch an edge quite as aggressively. But the real difference outside of that is when you flip the tires inside out. You'll see that we have a crosshatch pattern here. It's it's not quite the same as the newest generation, and of course it's just not a three rib. It doesn't really have the sidewalls and the ribs, but, I'm, but this is what I'll call a generation two. And then when you get to the, obviously the newest gridiron, they've gone ahead and they went to the newest generation of carcass. So what's the moral of the story? The moral of the story is all of these companies are learning. And just so you know, just so that we're not being unfair, let's set these out of the way and I'll show you the Proline tires. This is a Proline big block. And this uses the same style of carcass that we saw on one of the early generation AKA tires with the three ribs. And this is a blockade that's a very, it's a current generation. And you'll see that this uses the cross hatch. And so you can see that each of these companies, as they compete with each other, as they strive to create the best possible products for their customers, they're 
continually evolving not only the rubber, not only the tread patterns, but the tire carcass as well. Okay, well, as you can see, tire carcasses are constantly evolving. I don't think they'll change too much from what we've seen here today, but who knows what the future holds. Hope you guys enjoyed watching this video just as much as I enjoyed making it, and we'll see you guys in the next one. Thanks for watching. I just want to say thanks again for watching my videos. I appreciate you guys watching. If you enjoyed this video, you'd be doing me a huge favor if you could either like, comment, or even better, subscribe. I post a lot of stuff on social media like Facebook, Instagram, Twitter, stuff like that. So if you want to catch up with me, I'll post this stuff up for you. And you can come on over, add me as a friend, follow me on Instagram, and you'll be able to see things that just don't make it to YouTube. Again, thanks for watching. We'll see you in the next one.